Hey, what's up you guys? If you're planning on towing a trailer with your Toyota RAV4, you have to have trailer wiring installed. It's required by the law. Let's go ahead and break down this install. You'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation. Now our trailer wiring is a quick connect which will plug into the back of each of our tail light harnesses on both sides. So we're gonna to need to get behind these panels. To start by doing that, we're gonna to need to remove the flooring. Now we're gonna remove the rear threshold panel. There's just a few pins underneath here that just pull up. So we're just gonna pull up on the panel itself. So first we're gonna get behind our driver side paneling. To get behind it, we have to remove this push pin right here. We're just gonna pop it off using a small flathead screwdriver. Now towards the bottom of the panel, we're gonna remove this tow hook. We're just gonna take out that bolt using a 10 millimeter socket. Now with those two attachments removed, we can just pull back on our panel. We're gonna use a trim panel tool just to get behind there and pop it off. Now once we have our panel pulled back, we can see our harness coming out of our tail light. So this is our harness that we'll be using. So we're just gonna push on that tab on the top of that harness. And then we're just gonna remove it. Now we're gonna take our T connector from our trailer wiring that has the yellow, brown, and red wire. Now we're gonna plug it into our driver side tail light harness on both sides. Now we're gonna take our T-connector with the green wire and we're gonna route it over to our passenger side tail light. We're gonna go underneath our rear threshold panel through these holes right here to get it under there so it stays out of the way. Now that we've reached the passenger side, we're going to get behind our panel and plug it into our passenger side tail light following the same steps that we did on the driver's side. So now back on the driver's side, we're gonna take our white wire with the ring terminal, and we're gonna ground it underneath where our rear threshold panel went. We're just gonna line it up right here, and we're gonna ground it using this provided self-tapping screw and a quarter inch socket. Now we're gonna take our power wire, and we're gonna connect it to our black wire on our converter box. Now our kit comes with the power wire, but we're gonna use our U-Haul exclusive power wire that has a protective loom on it to help keep it safe from the elements. And we're just gonna connect these two wires using a heat shrink puck connector. Now we're gonna take our power wire and we need to route it to our battery. We're gonna go underneath our vehicle and route it underneath our paneling up to the engine compartment to hook it up there. Now if you have the hybrid, you may have the battery right here in the trunk, which will make it a lot more easier for you to hook it up to that battery post. So we're gonna take our wire and to get it underneath, we have our vent right here and we're just gonna push it down all the way. So now let's talk about your four flat harness and where you can store it. First, you can leave it in your vehicle and just leave it here by the spare tire and pull it out through the weather seal and close the trunk on it when you need to use it. Now this will keep it safe from the elements so that this connector doesn't rust. Now you can also bring it down underneath your vehicle and mount it next to your hitch receiver. That way it's ready to use whenever you're ready to tow. Now to do that, we're just gonna go through that same vent 
So now with everything in place, we're ready to put our cargo area back together. We're just gonna tuck our converter box and wires behind our panels and reinstall it in reverse order. So to run our wire underneath our vehicle, we pulled it up on the ramps and we're going to be following the driver's side of our vehicle. This has our brake lines and more panels that we can go underneath. We want to avoid anything hot or moving that can damage our wires. So let's show you the route that we're gonna pick. So right behind our exhaust, we're going to bring it over our cross member right here. We're just gonna slide it over and it'll drop on the other side. Now we're going to take our wire over this cross member right here. That will bring us to this paneling underneath. And there's a couple push pins that hold this in, but we're just gonna remove those on the inside here so we can pull this down and we'll zip tie our wire underneath it all the way up to the engine compartment. Now above this cross member, we have a couple brake lines that we're gonna zip tie it to. Uh, it's just located right here on the driver's side. And then we'll let our wire come down to our panel. So now we're gonna take our wire and we're gonna tuck it up underneath. and then we'll reinstall all of our push pins. Now that we've reached the end of our paneling, we're just gonna push it up following the brake lines, making sure that we keep it away from the exhaust. So if you follow your brake lines up through the engine compartment, it's gonna come out right here next to the brake reservoir. Now we need to bring it over to our positive terminal. So we're gonna keep it around all of these wires right here. And we're just gonna pull it around here right next to our battery. And to keep it from falling back into the engine compartment, we're just gonna zip tie it nice and tight up to this loom right here. Now we're gonna take our fuse holder and we're going to attach it to our power wire. With our U-Haul exclusive power wire, all we have to do is plug it in. Now we're going to attach the ring terminal to the positive post on our battery. It's located right here, and we're just gonna pull on these two tabs right here, and we're going to attach it to this post right here. We'll remove that nut using a 12 millimeter socket. Now we're going to attach our fuse holder, and we're gonna bend it down with the other wires right there. And then we'll attach it. Now we're going to insert a 10 amp fuse into our fuse holder, and then we'll put our cap on. Now we have a lot of extra wire, so we're just gonna bundle it up and we're going to secure it right next to our battery. That way we have our fuse holder accessible if we need to get to it. So let's finish by securing our four flat harness underneath our vehicle. We wanna bring it right next to our hitch receiver and we want to avoid the exhaust. So we're gonna bring it over the bumper support right here so it drops off right here. Let's go ahead and bring that over. Now that we have our wiring next to our hitch receiver, a lot of people will like to just leave it dangling on the hitch, but there's a chance that it can pop out and drag on the ground, which will damage your wiring. So we're gonna secure it to our bumper using a four flat mounting bracket. This isn't included with our kit, but you can pick one up at your closest U-Haul store or at uhaul.com. So to install this, we're just gonna line it up with our bumper and we're gonna drill our first hole using a 3 16th drill bit. Then we'll bring our first screw into place and we'll line up our bracket and put on our first nut. And then we're gonna square it up and then we'll repeat on the second hole. And then we'll tighten it up using a 10 millimeter socket. 
Then we'll take our wiring harness and we'll put our dust cover on and then we'll bring our wiring through the bracket just till it clicks. And then if you have any extra wire that's dangling, you can just zip tie it behind the bumper to the supports. So that wraps up our install and our video. With your wiring powered up, you're ready to tow a trailer. So if you have any questions about this product, or if you'd like to schedule an installation with a U-Haul Hitch Professional, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center, or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com. Thank you.